Okay, hello guys and once again, welcome back to the channel. This is MMOPH and for today's video, we are going to show or I am going to show a tutorial on how you can play League of Legends Wild Rift on your desktop or your laptop computer. Now, this might not work on your Mac devices. I'm not even sure if you can install emulators on your Mac, but for anything else other than Mac, you can definitely do this or use this tutorial in order to play the game. Okay, so the first thing you need to do would be to download the Bluestacks game. Once you do the download or once you download, make sure that you have the same version shown up, up here. That would be version 4.240.204.1016. So that is the current version I'm using and it's working as of or up until now. Okay, so the next thing you need to do would be to download this link. It will automatically transfer you to Google Play Store in order for you to download Wild Rift. Okay, so I already have the game installed. So you will see the install button here. So just click on install. Now, if you do encounter a problem which in or wherein it says that the device is not compatible with the game, the perfect solution there would be to click the gear icon located here below. Afterwards, click on advance. Then click or choose a provide a provide a predefined profile. So just choose Samsung Galaxy S10. Click on save, then close, and afterwards you can install the game. So once the game is installed, you just need to go to your settings, go to graphic. <clears throat> you can go to ultra high definition. So make sure your resolution is on high in order to play the game at a better resolution. And pretty much you can do any adjustments that you want as long as your computer can handle it. Okay, so pretty much that's all you're going to need in order to play the game using this emulator on your computer or on your laptop. But just to make sure, is the game getting stuck? Um, no, so far. I haven't gotten stuck on the loading phase at the beginning or at the end of the game. I did however experienced several disconnections every time i enter the game at the beginning stage so usually when you go on rank or when you go on pvp you might get disconnected but the good thing about this is that you can easily reconnect within 30 to 50 seconds or 30 to 60 seconds depending on how fast your computer is <coughs> Okay, so the best thing to show if the game is truly working would be to play a game. So for now, let's check out the game and let's fast forward it later. It's just, to, just to show if the game will load properly and if we won't get stuck with claiming the rewards. Most of the emulators after end of the game, uh, the claiming the reward portion, uh, you will get disconnected. And if you do get disconnected, several times within that area you will eventually get banned for an hour to six hour stops that's for my experience but if you don't get disconnected then all will be okay oops <laughs> i forgot to choose a better hero i wasn't paying attention we already have a range damager so let's wait it out and Let's check if the game will run smoothly or not. Okay, so we obviously don't have a jungler, so we're probably gonna have two duos on top and the bot lane. Okay, usually on other emulators, once you start, you notice that the loading stage or the loading percentage won't work. Uh, it means that you already got disconnected, but as you can see here using the blue stocks option, the game would immediately load. If you watch my previous video for the Mumu emulator, that is one of the common reasons why I stopped using it for now. Because every time you start a game, you will immediately get disconnected, but the reconnecting part could actually take within a minute or two. And by the time you get back on the game, it's probably a bit too late, your lane has probably been pushed, and you have probably deaths that you weren't counting on. So it's best to use blue stocks for now, as there are, or even if you got disconnected, you can immediately get reconnected in a faster way.
So the controls are pretty much the same. I'm using WASD. I've got a good feeling about this. So the resolution is quite good as well, as you can see. If you're planning to use uh, MF or Misfortune as your ADR or damage, make sure you get the first skill first. Every time you hit a monster first or a crit first, the bullet will pass through and it will deal extra damage or crit damage on the enemy that is playing. Afterwards, you can click on the third skill. This is good for slowing down enemies, especially with Flash. It's a good combination for your ultimate skill. Enemy slain! Enemy slain! Enemy slain! Okay, so once your first skill is going to be no invest in your points on your skill, it's actually good when you're attacking. As you can see here, it's my mouse pointer, so my mouse cursor. I'm actually using it to be direct my skills. So those are some of the things that might have been important to so do or find out if it's been available. But as for the moment, we actually don't have anything. We don't have any other places. So the reason why I did my shoes, you know, because of the sexy, it can actually make you move faster. Enemy 
slain. Okay guys, so that's it for the video. I'm probably gonna play this in fast forward and probably cut some parts of the video. But as you can see, uh, this is where we need to watch out for the calculator and rewards part. So on most emulators, you're gonna get stuck here on this part. But as you can see, it's working. So no issues there. So just continue and don't forget to like uh, the players and continue and there we go so you now have the means to play a wild drift on your now if this video helped you out make sure to click the like and the subscribe button and once again this is mmoph and thanks for watching